morning from Qingyuan, China. It is the start of the National Day holiday and Mid-Autumn Festival combined holiday. Most Chinese have about eight days off and uh, today's the first day and uh, last night I drove up to this hotel which is a very quiet hotel, 200 RMB, so about 30 bucks, but brand new, very comfortable just for the night. And I know that over the next couple of days as I venture north towards Xiaoguan, the hiking, the scenic spots, the tourist attractions are going to be packed with people and I know that the highways are going to be full of people too. I'm prepared for it, I know it's coming. But of course, first stop is Mickey D's for breakfast. trying to sell bathing suits and hats and all kinds of stuff. Because they have drifting. Ching Yuan is very famous for drifting. It's kind of a poor man's whitewater rafting. And uh, yeah, and so it's uh, very popular here. And I don't know if you can see it in the distance, but that is where I am going, right up there. Great, it's about 8 a.m. They just turned on the cable cars and I see maybe 10 other people here right now. This place is called Wong Tangxia and it's fairly new here, Ching Yuan, lots of glass bridges in Ching Yuan. So this is the drifting that they do here. I'm not doing it today. I think it's best to do drifting with a bunch of people. I'm here solo today, so I'm just going to do the skywalk. 148 RMB to get up to the skywalk. It's very interesting. I'm pretty much all alone up here. I'm shocked that on the first day of the national holiday, I'm all alone here. Here you go through a separate security where they check your health code and everything once again. There's a sign at the beginning that says you will walk 500 steps and burn 25 calories to get to the top. It's a little more creepy than the last one I went on. The glass panels are much bigger. Uh. <laughs> so when you walk on this part, it actually makes a crackling sound. It's supposed to scare you. <laughs> Again, I'm one of like the only ones here. So this is, take note, come early, <laughs> it's worth it. It's a, it's a unique experience, it really is. As you can see, the parking lot is still very empty. 
that's where they're building a uh, a viewing platform, I guess, for the light show at night, which has become quite famous. And then the river, this is the drifting river that goes up the canyon. I'm going to go take a walk down there. It doesn't look like I don't see any drifters yet. At night, this is supposed to be really, really impressive. It's all lit up with this giant LED light show. And below me is actually, it's not on right now. I don't know when they turn it on, but it's a kind of a water cascade effect in a circle shape. Around the uh, edges here, they'll have water falling all the way to the floor there. I guess I'm lucky because it's still early enough in the morning where the heat hasn't really hit. It's still kind of a, a gloomy overcast. Uh, but a nice cool breeze and of course you have these welcome little shaded areas along the trail. They're building a future trail there. And as you can see some of these steps are very very steep. Hiking downhill has its own challenges. <laughs> it's, it's not, of course it's easier than hiking uphill, but it's still a lot of work, right? <laughs> They're huge. You know, even though it's uh, concrete and steps, has all <laughs> trails in China seem to be. It's really beautiful here. It's shaded, it's cool with a nice stream that goes through. It's lovely. Okay, not a bad way to out. Okay, not a bad way to start the morning. A couple hours out on this mountain, on to the next place. It's a beautiful day to go for a drive in the Chinese countryside. Windows down, it's not too hot. Listen to some music. Ah, it's a nice day off.